Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to show you. Ranking all races v4 in Blark's Fruits. And everything in this video. Is just my opinion. If you have your own opinion let me know in the comments. And previously today's shout out goes to them. Thank you very much for the comments. Let's just go straight to the video. In 6th place is the rabbit race. This race is very good for beginners, because even though it hasn't been upgraded, it runs fast compared to other races. And when upgraded to V2 and V3 this race runs even faster. This is very good, if you are in a state of urgency. For example when you are being chased by a teamer, when you are dying etc. And when upgrading to V4 this is very op. Apart from its high speed, this race has the ability Tornado which is very useful in PvP, because you can stun your opponent, and have a super dash which is very good for PvP and running. So, do any of you use this race? In 5th place is the Cyborg race. When upgraded to V1 this race does not have any buff. But when upgraded to V2 you will get a buff in the form of 10% defense against melee, sword, and gun attacks 15% of received damage passively converts to energy. And upgraded to V3 you will get the ability energy core which will provide 30% defense, and will make your surroundings like a lightning effect. And upgraded to V4 you will get two new abilities in the form of energy control and aftershock. Literally this race is very good for grinding, but for PvP this race is not very good and there are still many races that are up for PvP. In 4th place is the shark race. Shark even though you haven't upgraded you will get decreases the damage the player takes while in water as a fruit user. This is very good if you often drown and don't want to die in the ocean and upgraded to V2 and V3 you will be immune to the sea, even though you are a fruit user, and you will also get the ability water body which is very good, if you get hit by a one shot combo, because the damage given to you will decrease by 80%, where it is very overpowered, and in upgrading to V4 you will get two new abilities namely Leviathan's armor and Whirlpool, where you will get an op shield. This race is quite annoying during PvP, because you will be very tanky, and with that you can use it to do combos to your opponent. In third place is the Angel race. This race is my favorite race in this game. When upgraded V1 Angel only gives a slightly higher jump than the usual race. When upgraded to V2 and V3 this race will give you a higher jump, and you will get the Heavenly Blood ability, which if activated you can heal your health. This is especially good, if you are in a long fight. And when upgraded to V4 this race is getting overpowered. You will get two new abilities in the form of Prince of the Skies and King's Rule, where with these abilities you can stun players, NPC etc, and you can also fly as much as you like. This race is very overpowered, if used for PvP, because you can stun your opponent, and also this race is very good for grinding, because with King's Rule you can grind, like you have a Logia Fruit. In second place is the Gaul race. When upgraded to V1 this race already gives a buff in the form of slightly increased regen. 30% extra run speed during night. When upgraded to V2 you will get life leech which is where each time the user hits a player using a fighting style, heals 25% of the damage done to said player. When upgraded to V3 you will get the ability heightened senses, which allows the player to use skills that are still on 40% cooldown. And when you upgrade to V4 you will get two new abilities namely Blood Siphon and Domain Expansion. Literally this race is pretty good for PvP, and also very good in long fights, because you can heal a lot. Because during PvP of course we are always dealing damage to your opponent. And in the first place there is a human race. 
This race is the most overpowered race so far. When upgraded to V1 this race does not have any advantages. On upgrading to V2 you are given flash step ranges doubled, and its cooldown lowered, around 10s to 15s. Extra dodge and faster dodge regeneration on instinct. Upgraded to V3 you will get last resort ability. Which is where the user deals more damage depending on how low their health is during the ability. 2.25%. 52.25% more damage. And upgraded to V4 you will get two new abilities namely Psycho and Limit Break. This race is very overpowered, if used for PvP, since you have Psycho and Last Resort ability. So, that's all guys. What do you think? If this video is useful you can press the like button. If you want to see other cool videos you can press the subscribe button. And whatever race you have, if you are skilled at using it, then that race will be very overpowered. Alright, thanks for watching, and what's your favorite race? Let me know in the comments.